Yep. Or turn those up. Hope it doesn't gaze. There I go. Fuck! Right on the fucking funny bone. Mmm! Whoever hit their funny bone on their table, let me know. Shit ain't funny. I don't know why they call it a fucking funny bone. Jackass. But, anywho. Hello, everybody. You already know what I do. You already know who I am. Let's get this over with. Wait. Now, what I do, who, you already know. But, in this one, I'm going to be a little bit adventurous. Because I am actually going to be, for once, being a little bit more... Graphical in this one. So, pretty much, this is, for once, a series. Yep. I am doing a series. Again. And, well, actually, hold up. Let me read the script. Yeah, because I don't know how many parts there is. Oh. Uh, never mind. This is gonna be a one-shot video. Oh. oh, I just read the script. Um, that will be 25 parts into this video. So, unfortunately, this has to be a one-shot video. But, lucky for you all, I started doing a... But I will probably go back to the one-shot, back to the series. But I'll probably, just like I said, into three parts. Right, so I'll probably just get rid of the... Or one. It will mostly be... You get what I mean. It's mostly just not gonna be that many, sh many parts. Arts. Like, it's kind of my job. So, anyway. Wait. You lads, we're gonna do What If Deku Was a Werewolf. This has been the most fucking requested ad uh, for some bloody reason. Now, is Izuku a good guy in this one? Nope. He's actually gonna be a villain for once, and I'm gonna try my best to keep him a villain at least until the end of the video. Well, why? At the end of the video? Well, well, everyone needs a fuck toy, and it, Well, am I right? I, I can already just see this video getting demonetized. I right, guess everyone's being an absolute bullocking bitch. bitch. And for those who think I'm going soft, dude, I am literally causing chaos and destruction everywhere I go. There's riots in UK, in the UK, the creature, the queen is dying in, in the frickin'. And, well, she's dying, so that's obviously my doing with the rioting. And plus, I'm the one who created the fucking Black Plague. So I don't know who you think you are thinking I'm going soft. It's just I have shit to do. Being a god of chaos doesn't mean I get to get, make happy what-ifs all the fucking time. And besides, whoever told you chaos is just evil? They're idiots. It's, I mean, literal idiots. Like, to the point... You can easily mistake them for fucking dipshits. Okay, so okay, so I did turn those off. Sorry, I am playing a game I ain't been playing. I haven't played in a freaking long while. What game, you all might be asking? Why? A Dying Light. Yes, I am at. Yes, I actually am bringing this game back from the dead. Luckily for you all, this game doesn't work really require me to actually be uh, well concentrated that much mostly because as well most of what I do is just run around and get my agility up that's about fucking it it, it but uh yeah I will probably do one thing though because I know I'm gonna get distracted by sound even though it's unwise to actually do this eh, it's the only way we're actually going to get down onto the well video don't worry I can still hear you guys but at the same time I can hear hear this so most of what I'm saying is I keep it down so I can listen to you guys and I can hear you guys complain so pretty much here's the best idea that I'm pulling Izuku is a werewolf willingly nope nope he was the hit now actually actually I should probably explain his abilities first so I got the werewolf idea for me when me and Shadow plays ESO Online. Yep, that's where you find Dylan when playing these days, ESO Online. Or at least sometimes. Mostly I just play any video game I can freaking get my hands on. But right now I'm just playing Dying Light because, well, I kind of miss killing zombies. And plus, I'm thinking of getting Dying Light too. Ooh. So anyone who has actually played Dying Light, let me know what it is. Because if I should get it or not. 
And also, I'm also thinking of doing a what if on Dying Light, but I need to play the game to know it. I know, I know. You said that you, if you played the video game, you wouldn't make it any good. You are partially right. Like, but when it comes to video games, I need to know the origin. And I know Dying Light is technically the origin, but Dying Light 2 takes it freaking shorter than that. I, what I mean it is it takes you a little bit further into the history is what I'm trying to say, guys. And I say that makes pretty damn sense. So, yeah. Now, or now the origins on Izuku Midoriya. Izuku actually had a pretty chill life. It was mostly like in canon is what I'm trying to say. The only difference is... Well, actually, no. Baku was still a jackass in this one. Yeah, it's kind of like in canon. The only difference is... Actually, I should probably do, do what if Deku was blessed by Hearseeing. If I can remember how the fuck I write it. But for those who don't know what Hearseeing is, because there's not that many Skyrim players anymore, because, well, you guys just stopped playing it. And a lot of you guys think it's fucking lame for some fucking reason. How dare you on that one? One. And before you guys ask, am I a good guy or a bad guy in Skyrim? Nope. I am about. I am a mercenary. I live the life of a neutral man. And now I know you're all probably thinking in your heads that I'm the god of chaos and I should try to conquer the world. Oh, that I do in Nuka War. That I do in Fallout 4. Or good guess though. Oh, on um, the bad guy thing. Anyway, me. Where was I? Oh yeah, piercing. Now Izuku has is hunting. He lives in a shack not far from here. His mother. Well, his mother does give a shit about him, and she worries about his safety a lot. But why does she not hunt herself? Well, she's crippled, and she is also blind. And right, so he's gonna be evil for a good damn reason. So, yep. So pretty much, Inko being crippled and blind, Izuku has to take care of her. Now, how is she crippled and blind? Um, boot bulldozer to the legs. That's all I gotta say. And how she ended up blind is abusive husband, which made Izuku snap to the point where he actually killed him. Yep, his first victim was Hasashi Midoriya. How did he kill him? Well, I'm glad you asked. He smashed the bottle and pretty much stabbed it in his throat. Oh, gone for the throat is the metaphorical term you should say. But yeah, it was pretty brutal. It was pretty. Be nasty, and it was fucking hilarious. Mostly because was the death on that poor bastard was freaking deadly. Like, that and also, the guy was an absolute prick. Although I can't talk, I make pricks all the time. So, pretty much, Izuku Midoriya killed Ilus Hasashi by that. And I say that's pretty fair, because, as number one, if my mom, even I'm not that evil enough to pick on a crippled and blind. I am not a fucking monster. Well, unless that crippled and blinds an asshole, then I would probably give them cancer. Here, that's where I might draw my lines. I don't care how mental... I don't care how mental are you. I don't care how fucking and crippled you are. You talk shit, I'm gonna bash your brains in and make you wish you, have, you were also a mute. So, yeah. There you fucking go. Now, Izuku was hunt. Now, Iz we actually start off with Izuku going to school. Mind you, Izuku actually rarely goes to school. Why rarely go to school? Well, he's w he lives in the fucking forest. What do you expect? Heck, you can't go to school all the time. You gotta have that muscle. And yes, Izuku is kind of ripped. And this one, he's a teenager, so he's pretty much ripped. Yeah, especially if you're like a werewolf. Now, you're probably all wondering, he's probably ripped as All Might or something. Nope, actually, he's ripped as Saitama, which is still good. Good freaking nine. It's still shackable by a good ten out of ten. Yes, I said shackable. Fight me. Amy. Now, pretty much, Bakugo sits down and mind. This is when we get to Bakugo. Now, ba Bakugo is an absolute prick of a man. Oh wait, I was gonna explain the freaking powers on here. Scene. Whoops. Whoops. I actually skipped the script ahead. Now, here scene. In case you pathetic mortals do not know. Or you guys never played any Mephesia's game, which I don't know how you don't play it. It's a fucking good game. Maybe it's because you got, you all don't like me making them YouTube dollars. But anyway, th this is when pretty much Hearsing is the god of the hunt. Well, Daedric. He's not the most powerful, but he's not the most dangerous either. Like he, Hearsing is more like a he is more like a neutral guy actually. 
At least someone like me, because a lot of you guys think I'm evil all the fucking time. If I was evil all the time, I would have killed humanity by now. Oh, wait. I attempted to. More than once. But apparently a certain god, apparently some certain, some man named Jesus Christ gets involved. Oh, and I got a pretty much. Let's fake it. Like the French Revolution. And the fucking Black Plague. Like anything that involves hating humanity, Jesus gets involved. Which I don't fucking know why. I mean... They literally don't respect themselves. Why even keep them alive? I know you're watching, Jesus. As I still don't have the answer to that. That bullshit. And I still... Oh, and you still owe me a fucking pint for fucking up one of my best creations, you jackass. Yes. But anyway... Hey. So we get to the bloody point. <laughs> point. Point froggy style. <laughs> oh god, I'm a pervert. But yeah, pretty much Bakugo. Oh, in this... But pretty much now we get to Bakugo. Now Bakugo... Oh, because... Oh, wait, I'm skipping ahead. God damn it. I keep skipping. I don't know why I skip. I gotta explain Izuku's powers. Izuku's powers are... Well, he's a berserker werewolf. Yes, he's a berserker werewolf. I am actually pulling this stunt. Now, for those who do not know what a berserker werewolf is, because, well, not many people would actually know, a berserker werewolf is someone who actually has a temper. But Izuku's temper is not as bad. Like, he can still get pissed. Like, let's say his berserk, he gets pissed around... Uh, a good 13 times. He only gets pissed, like, not that easy. Like, it takes a lot to piss him off. Make fun of his mom? Yeah, that would piss him off. Make fun of... I mean, make your mama jokes. That will piss him off. I know that's pretty much what it says. Anything that involves his mom, he gets pissed. Nope. Oh, he'll get pissed easily. Easily over anything. Well, not almost everything. I'm not going to make him a Karen. Ow. But yeah, pretty much I am not going to make him a Karen, like I said. But Bakugo in this... But pretty much we start off with Izuku. With Bakugo. Now Bakugo is a prick. Like, like I said. That he has no manners. And he has absolutely no shame. And how? No shame you might be asking? Well... He just doesn't. He does not give a fuck. But he does care about certain things, which is fucking bullshit. He ruined a man's pride. Well, actually, no, not ruining a man's pride. You get what I'm going. You get what I'm going, you fuckers. But pretty much, Izuku... We actually now start with Izuku, because, well, I can't explain anymore. Izuku Midoriya has pretty much... Has got to school. And mind you, I forgot to mention, Izuku doesn't wear his UA uniform. He's like the punk kid that no one at wants. Once. And he does get angry. Like, he actually gets annoyed. Wait. Now, a lot of people pick on him. Why? Because he lives in the forest. And the school he goes to is a frickin'... Again, well, it's a frickin' school. Like, he's more surprised that he can even afford to go in there is the bigger question. And Inko, but then Izuko found out his mother was, like, extremely rich. Like, it's not even funny. So, Izuku, after finding out that his mom was rich, which explains a fucking lot, actually. Now, Bakugo, this is when we get to Bakugo. Bakugo, actually, Izuku walks to the school, Bakugo just says, Hey, Deku, what do you want, freak? An annoyed look gets into Katsuki's face. Ace. Teach wants ya. The teach can get her ugly, fat ass over here. Here, I could care shits about her pathetic life. Huh. Alright. This is when Bak well, this is when Izuku starts is about to light a cigarette above Katsuki takes it. You do realize smoking's bad for you. So is pissing me off. You want your teeth shattered again? And Pomeranian? <laughs> Look who's talking. You have a temper greater than mine. Izuku pops his neck and pops his knuckle. 
and a nastier punch. 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 This is when Izuku... By the way, Izuku has unlocked his werewolf powers, and no one knows about it. Which he's trying to keep. Keep a fucking secret, by the way. Hey. This is when pretty much... Which he gives him a look, which is a freaking alpha look. Like, the look you give to a Omega. Which, Bakugo in this one is not. Like, he actually deals with Izuku's bullshit numbers of times. Like, it's not even funny. So, Bakugo is not intimidated, but he does know when not to piss him off. Oh, but this is when Bakugo just has a disappointed sign in his thing and just says, Just don't smoke in the class. And he, Izuku yanks it out, gets it back, and says, Bite me. And Izuku walks off. Now, the attitude that Izuku has is actually for a good damn reason. Why? Well, bullies. Like, if you bully someone enough, they'll snap, and you'll have to deal with the monstrous side of them. Yep. That'd be Izuku lost all careness of humanity a long time ago. Like, seriously. He act. He doesn't even act like he cares. He just gets fucking annoyed. Oh, shit. Now, Bakugo... Oh, who's just... Uh, well, this is when Bakugo just goes to the teacher. Well? You really want me to answer? <sighs> Why am I not surprised? It's just... Alright, look. Um, you can do whatever you want right now. I actually stopped caring. Sure thing, Teach. Teach. And it's when Katsuki walks off. So I'm gonna have another parent teaching conversation. <sighs> and at when Izuku gets out, when Izuku, when class is over and Izuku starts leaving, right? This is when pretty much he here. There's hey Deku. Izuku gets an annoyed look again. And this is when he sees Alchako. Oh. Now here's what I should say about Alchako. She is fucking obsessed with Izuku. Like, think Sakura with fucking, uh, well, Sasuke. Now, like I said, Ed, Izuku does not care. And you already know that, fuck my what ifs, they're all gay. So you can get, so whoever asks me to do a straight what if, you're gonna have to wait next month. <clears throat> now, pretty much, Izuku just gives the annoyed look and is thinking, God, I can't wait to kill her. Er. So pretty much after literally getting annoyed and, and and trying to act like she's not there, which is almost impossible considering that she's always waiting for Izuku, and mostly just says Izuku Usenpai. Yep, she says Izuku Senpai, which even I have to admit is fucking disturbing. And like seriously, what the fuck fuck is wrong with you all? I don't know why you all say that. And is that some type of bullshit I don't know about? Is it a fucking name I don't know about? Because it's just fucking nasty. Like, in my mind, you are saying fucking... Game porn. Anyway, back to the video. So pretty much, Izuku says, Will you go... This is when Ryoka says, Can we go on a date? Hey, hey. Let me go on a date? Bull. I can't even fucking say it without having a gag in my reflex. Yeah. This is when Izuku says, The day you give me... The day... A that you that I go on a date with you is the fucking day that I that you grow a dick and can get rid of your boobs. So the answer to your question is a big ass fuck you. It will never fucking happen. Now this is when Bakugo just sits down. I mean this is when he just sits down. Actually, not Bakugo. So, yeah, pretty much El Chaco is just now shattered. But due to her damn pride and, well, stupidity, let's be honest here, 
She still thinks that she has a chance. You know, Bizuku bluntly made it clear that she doesn't. And that he is gay. 24 times. In fact, she's been doing it ever since... And they met, and she said no when they can be friends. Which is a symbol of, oh, you want to be my girlfriend. I mean, you want to be my boyfriend. And she thought that, literally. But then she, he obviously said no. Oh. <clears throat> but once Izuku actually got home... <clears throat> home... Izuku Midoriya sits down and minds his own business. This. this. Now, he gets home, and he goes to Inko. Oh, now, Inko is now just minding... It's pretty much just sitting there listening to the radio. Until she says, Izuku, is that you? Yeah, Ma, it's me. Oh. Well, I didn't recognize... I nearly didn't recognize... It's you. This is when Izuku's thinking, her condition's getting worse. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I hope not. But I got a feeling I'm gonna have to. Ooh. This is when Izuku just thinks that, but he doesn't say it. Yeah. This is when Inko. Oh, you pretty much just see. Izuku sees her getting just weaker and weaker by the day. Like, it's not even funny. She gets weaker by the day. Hey. So, Izuku. Who can only think of one thing to end her misery? Right. This is when pretty much you, she waits for him to wait for his ego to fall asleep, and literally just grab, and literally just, just gives her a drug. Now, in case you're wondering what type of drug Izuku's giving her, it's mostly a a full overdose of pain kill. Of freaking painkillers. Now, I don't know. I had to look this up because I hoped I looked it up brightly. Like, an overdose of certain drugs can actually kill you. And unfortunately, that's what Izuku's too into his mom. Ending her fucking misery. Right, because let's be honest. Being a blind and being a crippled, it, it just fucking sucks. Oh, it's like that would actually drive any man nuts. So after the after they took care of that, because like I said they pretty much stopped caring. Right. Now after pretty much God damn it. Yeah, you told me that. Anyway, Bakugo says, huh. And this is when pretty much Izuku does an overdose on pain medication. Now, mind you, like I said, Ed, he legit it cares. But he knows that his mother will not survive well. So, pretty much, he puts her out of his misery. Now, she does, he doesn't want to do it. No, 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 he doesn't. But he knows his mother can't live that long. So, he does it. He literally kills her. So after killing his mom and pretty much burying and giving her a Christian burial, yeah, Inko in this one was Christian, but she was one of those nice Christians. Ugh. And I can only just see Jesus saying, "Oh, you accepted the Lord and Savior? Go fuck yourself." Oh, in fact, while you're here, Jesus, give me a good blowjob while you're at it. So the answer to that obvious question is no, I don't believe in God, even though I'm a god. But still, the only day I'm gonna re re the only day I'm gonna worship that pompous prick is when he's giving me a good blow. Oh, that's the only time, and I can already just you see the Christian YouTuber burns or Jew it. There's people saying that you're a sinner and you should be burning in hell, and you would say I you're right, but I'm dealing with you guys, so I am in hell. Well, it's just I don't want to be... It's just I, I, I don't have no choice being this part of hell because... Well, let's be honest. I hate you all. all. Like, it's not even a fucking joke. I despise every last one of you. Oh, but anyway... Okay. Bak, this is when we get to Izuku. Now, Izuku's thinking in his head, You know what? what? I have wait. I've been holding my powers too much. I'm gonna let it free. 
So, who's Izuku's poor first victims? Um, oh, yeah, Ochako. So, pretty much, we actually start with Ochako. Now, Ochako is literally about to do something that should not even be human. She attempts to literally cut her boobs off and replace them with man chesticles. Like, with man chesticles. No, I kid you not. Not replacing her pussy with a fucking game dick. She was, she's literally attempt to put balls on her, her chest, which is not fucking cool. No, I kid you not, that's what she is about to do. And even I have to admit, that's nasty. In all ways. But anyway, wait, when she's about to do that, and she grabs a knife... I wonder how many people think I'm actually joking on this one. Nope, I'm not. Uh, but pretty much after the incident, this one Izuku literally just goes to her room. Um, and she literally is just thinking about it. And she even sings his name. She collects so much disturbing things. She's a fucking yandere. Period. You see Izuku, she, Izuku realize she's been collecting his pubic hair, his fucking... Getting pictures of him in the shower, even even asleep, and Izuku's just thinking, "What the fuck?" So pretty much, this is not really a kill, but it's a necessary kill because let's be on it, she'll kill herself if Izuku if she he finds out that Izuku's actually not joking and he's gay. Hey, it'll just fuck him up. Anyway, he's back to Izuku. Izuku sits down. Izuku walk, walks up to it. I mean, Izuku just walks up to her parents, and her parents are concerned. And just says, why does she have to go after Izuku of all people? He's a complete prick. I know. He doesn't even show any respect to anyone. Well, not even All Might. And All Might, I wanted to see if he wanted to be a hero. All he said was freaking bull. bull. Well, and said that he's a weak, pathetic sheep. He's going in his mind because he is. Maybe we should probably see a hypnotist and probably change her ways. Me, Inka, my like, babe, we can't and just force her or to get him. We got. It takes time. I bet over time she'll get over him. And Izuku didn't. I mean, and Otako is not going to because she's dead. But Izuku just walks up to them and waits for them to go to bed. Yep, they, he waits for them to go to bed. Why? Well, obviously, so he doesn't have to deal with their bullshit and them screaming at the top of their lungs. So, yeah, that's why. But after the end incident and the coral fight and after literally Izuku waits for them to go to bed he literally makes his move now well, the husband decides to sleep on the bed why well Izuku finds proof that they're actually gonna get a divorce so you can imagine that okay now Bakugo I mean now Izuku literally goes to the husband first and literally they muffles him and while he's eating his intestines the husband wakes up immediately from intense pain and just see the creature just is ripping and tearing bring his poor fucking soul out so after the qualified nap I mean the qualified nap has been over which is fucking bullshit and oh look a fucking Easter egg quite literally So, anyway, sorry for the boss. Anyway, he's like, he eats his intestines and all that, etc. Well, and pretty much the muffled scream pretty much stops. And by the way, he couldn't struggle because Izuku's hands are covering both his arms, his... Over him. So, yeah. So, pretty much Izuku took care of him. So, Izuku killed him pretty brutally. Like, you can easily mistake it for a freaking cup. Now, oh, Izuku gets to Ink. Get, not Inko's room. She, she's died. She's dead. Think about that, Dylan. For once, you're actually not doing a dick egg Inko. Oh. 
He gets... Izuku gets two. Who is it? Gets two, well... I don't remember Ochako's mom. Although I don't care. Ochako, he gets to Ochako. And Ochako is just... I mean, this means he gets to Ochako's mom. And now Ochako's just minding her own business. But then Izuku realizes she's masturbating. Which is, uh... Some one way of dying. I mean, if you're gonna die, at least you might as well die... I realizing you just got... You just wiped your last, which is... I would do. Who I kid you not. If it was the end of the world, and I know I'm not gonna get a peaceful wank, I might as well just do that. But I kid you not. Let's admit it. If there was a zombie apocalypse, you can't go one minute without having a wank. I mean, you can't and do anything. Because, number one, the zombies will be too focused on trying to kill you, so you have no time to do a wank. Let's be honest, people. Well, that fucking sucks. Fucks. Especially if it's like Dying Light, which, let's admit it, would suck. Fuck. So, after literally the qualified wank is done, she heads to bed. And Inizuku is just thinking in his head, well, at least she was smart enough to do her last. Yes. Yep, Izuku even respected her for that. So, pretty much, what Izuku does is just, she just bites her. He just bites her head off. 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 And Izuku is just getting, thinking in his head, I am not mauling the rest. Yes. What did she even use? And this when she sees a freaking horse, uh, dildo. Izuku's thinking in his, he in his head, shit. It. That's a fucking lot. Uh, yep. So pretty much you already get where Izuku's going with this. Now, back... Back to Izuku. Now, Izuku goes to Ochako and just thinks in his head, Finally! Think I'm gonna kill her. Luckily, Izuku goes to her room and she masturbates to a freaking homemade pillow of Izuku. And Izuku's just thinking, okay, this is just fucking creepy. What is with Yandere's and doing this shit? It's the this is it's just weird. And Izuku, remember he does that. Well, the masturbation thing, not the freaking pillow thing. Just, that's just creepy. Be. And by the way, for all my yandere friends, please do not go in my room while I'm sleeping. It's creepy. Hey, even for my standards. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't mind the attention. And but if you just want me to give you a good toss, then just fucking ask. Ask if I was a single Pringle. Oh yeah, I said it, fight me. I mean I mean if I was single, I'd be okay with it. But I'm not. Come on guys. It's, it's disturbing. Being even to my standards. But luckily, my standards are pretty fucking low. Oh. Alright, anyway. Huh. That should be interesting. This is when Bakugo says, Alright. This is when... And kept me locked in a cage for three weeks. I saw plenty. Oh, shit. And Izuku pretty much starts sleeping being it off. Sleeping it off, you might? This one, Izuku literally just waits for her to get done. And it takes her four hours. It is three in the morning. And Izuku's thinking, God damn, woman. And... And he just thinking, Well, time to kill the bitch. And Izuku goes into her room... And she just sees the privates, and all Izuku's thinking is, ugh, try not to puke. So Izuku makes her death slow. She actually slits her throat. Izuku actually slits her throat and just immediately kills her. Like, she doesn't even, he doesn't even attempt to muffle it. Oh, shit. Yeah, like I said, he doesn't even attempt to muffle it. He makes it brutal. So, after killing her, and she looks up just to see Izu the werewolf Izuku, and all she can think of is him. him which is kind of fucking despicable. So, after that, at killing her, her, <sighs> 
Izuku's was thinking, finally, the, the curse of the, the curse of the Yandere has been killed. Yeah, that actually felt great. Why did I not start? Why did I not start killing people before? Oh yeah, my mom. Um. Well, that's the one woman I wish I didn't have to kill, but I knew she was not going to survive any longer. So after Izuku, who deal did that. And qualified like burning them in hell. Oh. I say qualifying burning in hell, but we both know that's not really what it's like. Like, but Izuku pretty much just sat down and done, uh, and Izuku just went home. Um, yeah, he still lives in his house because it's the last person anyone would think that he would live at. Live at. Yeah, I kid you not. Uh, because, like I said, Inko's death was actually not known, actually. At least until further noticed. So, pretty much, Izuku decided to go to Japan and, well, murder people for fun and shits and giggles. Well, like I said, Izuku doesn't give a shit about humanity, and here seeing is just pleased. He's Like, he is actually happy that Izuku's doing all this, and he doesn't really mind it. Izuku starts giving it... It starts murdering people. So we actually now start off again. And Izuku going near... Your child... I mean, starts going to an orphanage. Yep. That's how far this is going to go. Oh, say goodbye to those kids, because they're dead. And Izuku goes in there, and the nuns who run there didn't stand a fucking chance, because, well, it's a werewolf. What the fuck can you do against a werewolf? Come on, people. Well, it's like trying to say... A no fuck you, you to a demon who just wants to give you a fuck. fuck. Unless you're a furry, then I got nothing to say to you. Well, that, that, pfft, that's the wrong answer. Unless you're a furry, then go what you will. I didn't mean to say I have nothing to say to you. Because that's your shit. Not mine. Like, I don't care what you're into. Just don't do it around me. No, seriously. Like, the things that you two, you people do. Yeesh. It's disturbing. Like, even from my standards. But, anywho. No, because I already know I'm getting off track. Izuku kills everyone there. And the br kid's brutality and death is pretty pretty much as worse. He kills them worsely. He literally mauls them to death. And the kids would literally be terrible at hiding. Mostly because either A, they're drenched in piss. They shit their pants. And, or he can literally smell their, their freaking and body the odor. Yep, he's who can, who can smell it, but that doesn't mean he don't. But he just makes their death even worse by literally just pierce, piercing his claws into their heart. That's what Izuku mostly does. I know it's a big dick move, but come on, on. I say it's fair game. So pretty much after the death, as in brutality of what Izuku did, and, and murdering every last one person there. Izuku decides that it has one problem. It's getting to heat season. Because he's been killing for the past four months, and everyone started calling him um, the freaking the freaking Wolverine. Well, actually, no, they don't call him the Wolverine. They actually call him, him the Devils. I mean, the Devil. Well, which Izuku doesn't really mind the nickname. But he could do without the freaking stupidity of man. And, like, a lot of people think he's God's wrath or something. Ugh, what is with you Christians and Jewish? So I'm gonna think, quick question for all Jews and Christians. And why do you think gay is a sin? Comment down below and give me... Me, like, a what the fuck. Okay. How is being gay a sin? I want to know. Well, because apparently that's just you guys being dicks. It's just fucking rude. Anyway, after they're literally taking care of that incident, and killing the crazy bitch. So pretty much, Izuku turned him. Pretty much, Izuku. Who killed everyone and managed to finally get there. Now, after Deku, 
I mean, after that, Izuku, like I said, he's going through a tough problem. Heat season. Yep. Now, after this, pretty much Izuku... Who is dead. I mean, Izuku kills them. Anyway, he's... This is when Izuku literally... Lee is just now puffing and puffing. He's just thinking, God damn it. The one downside of being a werewolf. Ugh, heat. Heat. This fucking sucks. But luckily, this is when Izuku actually finds them. When he finds the person. This is when Izuku literally gets there. And sees it. I mean, sees Bakugo. Oh, and Izuku's thinking, oh, crap. Crap. Well, I've done worse. Worse. This is when Izuku literally... Literally sees Bakugo. Now, Bakugo is actually the one thing that Izuku did not expect him to be. And he sees him wearing the type of clothing that you would wear... If you were paid to fuck someone. Yep. In this one, Bakugo Katsuki he is a stripper. Her. You all probably thought I was not gonna make him a stripper. Nope, he is. But this is when he this is when he decides to study because he is thinking in his head, no way, that is not Katsuki. The angry Pomeranian in his temper, what is greater than mine, a stripper. Even he admitting that's kind of bullshit. Yeah, because he knows Katsuki since they were kids, so he knows that something's off. So after finding it, after do, taking care of the problem, aka a finding the person, aka following Katsuki, he this only rate leads some random stranger. Then he finds out Katsuki, he is a freaking killer. Yep, Izuku's a serial killer. I mean, yep, Katsuki is a serial killer. So after that incident, is the way I would say it, <coughs> if I was kind and caring, but he's a good, but he did kill her. And so after literally butchering, <coughs> drink, and killing him, ooh, ah, Izuku does the double tap. I mean, Izuku, I mean, Katsuki literally got done just killing the guy, and Izuku's just thinking in his head, well, shit. This is when pretty much uh, Katsuki is just is giving a disappointed look. look huh. This is when Izuku who sits, this is when Izuku just walks down, like literally, he walks up to the guy. This is when Izuku just walks to him. Mind you, Izuku's in his werewolf form. Now, Katsuki had to deal with a big bulk, like a fat guy. So he's obviously exhausted because, well, it takes forever for fat people to kill, to die. I kid you not. Ah, uh, they take fucking forever. But after the incident and killing like him, because like I said, I'm evil. Well, Izuku decides to go to him. And Katsuki is pretty much weak at this page. And Izuku just pins him down. Now, Katsuki knows who he's dealing with. He's dealing with the devil. I mean, he's dealing with the Tasmanian devil. Yes, that's what Izuku's villain name is known as and because he's a serial killer. The Tasmanian devil. Or was it Tasmanian devil? Yep, Tasmanian. My bad. So pretty much, this is when he realized the, guy, the creature's in heat. So, but Katsuko, Katsuki actually lets it happen because... He knows, well, he's not stupid. He knows if he does not do it, he'll end up dead. And he's, and Bakugo, oh, does not want to die. So he allows it. So Izuku starts plowing him. And roughly, eh? And he shows no mercy. And Katsuki just has let it all out because he knows it feels fan-fucking-tastic. So after plowing him, this is when Izuku realized one fucking thing that he did not know. Oh, Katsuki, he 
transformed. Yep, he's Kotsky's also a werewolf. And he really and Izuku realized he just plowed a fucking alpha. Izuku's thinking, oh shit. It. Like he immediately notices that. And the alpha is just I was fucking happy. And Izuku's thinking, oh shit, I just fucked an alpha. After that, and Izuku went back home, and he's just thinking it in his head. By the way, he took Hatsuki home because, well, he didn't even do it quietly. He just got him, got him in there. And he's just thinking in his head, shit, 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 shit. Hey, I just fucked an alpha. God damn it. Now, I already know half of you guys are probably going to say, wait, aren't alphas supposed to be tops? Not all alphas are tops. How do I know this? This, well, oh, oh, the president ain't no top either, because he's a cunt. Yep. If that's a matter the only good president we ever had was none. They're all shit, actually. Like, I would not even respect them if I wanted to. Okay, Obama was not actually not that bad, but I, if I had to choose who was my favorite president, because I already know half of you guys are probably going to ask, is, is Washington, because he actually tried to be a good president. Lincoln has slaves of his own. Oh. <clears throat> so, after that... That's... And literally, Lee doing that. Izuku literally, Lee took, this is when Izuku got back home. And immediately, this is when you just hear him just say, a uh, hey, fuck. Like, he's actually quite fucking getting annoyed. Okay, that's just pissing me off. Off. Sorry, lads. I was actually reading a picture that I... I was reading something. And it said, I love you, mommy. I mean, please find me. That actually just pissed me off because, well... Oh, for some fucking reason. Said it just angered me. But anyway. Anyway, how did the fuck did you hear me? Anyway, Bakugo, who is now just minding his own business, this at the time, literally is now just sinking in his head. And, and he doesn't really give a fuck. So pretty much, Izuku killing... So when Izuku had, gets the chance of murder... He doesn't even hesitate. Like, he just thinking in his head, a, vic a pathetic victim. Oh. Which Izuku does. He takes a map. Yeah. Sorry, I was lagging in that one. When Izuku literally just sits there and he's just thinking in his head, fuck, 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 fuck. Like I said, he is freaking out because he fucked an alpha. A fucking alpha. And you don't fuck alphas. Alphas fuck you. So, Izuku, who's now just calming down, okay, maybe he won't know. Maybe he won't remember. I hope. Hope he doesn't remember. Remember, because I don't feel like, like dealing with that bullshit. Okay. 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 Calm down, Dylan. Calm down. Uh, maybe, like I said, like you said, maybe he won't remember. Maybe he'll just think it's like a, it, it was like a one-time thing. <laughs> uh, I'm fucked. Okay. 
Calm, Dylan. Take a chill pill. Uh, like you said, like, like you said, it could be a one-time thing, so chill out, Dylan. Get yourself together. It was not. As soon as Izuku calmed down, and this is when he just hears a knock on the door. Crap. Who is it? It, it's Mitsuki. Open up. Um, how did you find my house? House? This is when you realize. Oh, fuck. And the door kicks wide open. Wow! <sighs> Ow! Oh! Man, you could have been more... More gentle? This is when immediately Mitsuki jumps right in front of him. Do I look like I'm in the mood for jokes? Ah! Hey, Mitsuki! How the fuck did you find me? You you left your scent on Kataki. Shit. So give me one good reason I shouldn't kill you right here, right now. Uh, because it was in heat season? What do you expect? And how was I supposed to know he was a werewolf? Wait, so you didn't know? Does this face scream I knew? Oh my god. How long have you been a werewolf? Four months. Wait. You're the Tasmanian devil? You're the wanted serial killer? Yep, that's me. Oh my god. No wonder Kosuke submitted. Wait, what? Everyone knows. Oh. He smells worse. Oh, you're a berserker werewolf. That explains a lot. I'm not even mad anymore. I'm just mad at myself now. Can you explain, please? Is yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Hey, here's the best way to explain to you, puppy. Hey, hey. Well, technically, I'm older. I'm literally like ten thousand years older than you. Ooh. Oh, well, in that case, fair point. Right. But still, puppy, you got a better idea to explain yourself to call you. How about a short-tempered bastard? Because I am legit trying to keep my cool because you had the nerve to call me a puppy. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Berserkers have a temper. Look, you don't know who you just fucked, right? Ah, uh, no. You fucked the su my son. My, I am Mitsuki, the alpha leader of the Death Claw. <laughs> you got that from a Fallout uh, 4 reference? Oh, no. The Death Claw clan has been around for years. Way before Bethesda, in fact. Act. Huh. So, uh, why are, you at, why are you mad at me? Because if people find out that their, their son was an alpha, was fucked by a, a lower life form, hey, no offense, but it is, my reputation would be ruined. Technically, your reputation was ruined. I mean, wasn't I, like, killing people full for shits and giggles? Okay, yes, you were. But still. Ew, you fucked my son. Now you gotta be his mate. Wait, what? Yeah. You don't know how the mating thing works, do you? Uh, no. Oh. You are the first ever person to actually tame Kotsuki. Let, much less dominate him. So, you're now his husband. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, don't I get in the sand in this? You fucked my son. Take a fucking guess. Oh, great. Do I have to tell you? Do I have to worry about your father now? No, you don't have to worry about the father because the father does not care. Or, oh, bandit. Oh, he dumped your ass for someone hotter? <laughs> you are extremely lucky, you know that? How so? Because you're, you know how to push someone's buttons. What? Me? Nah. I'm an innocent man, and okay, okay. Now shut up, man. You have, man. You have a temper. I have every right to be mad. You fucked my son, and you weren't even gentle. Oh, well, I literally heard his moaning from the fucking other side. Okay, okay, chill. Ew, sheesh. 
is I am not going to chill because, like I said, you're now his mate. And I don't get a saying in this. Do you look like you have every right to get a saying in this? Um... Uh, yes? You actually had the god nerve to say you have a say in this. Well, yeah. I should have a say in this. Well, you don't. So, either... Get over it, because, like I said, you're being his mate, whether you like it or not. Oh, wonderful. Oh, someone kill- someone- Wanna make my dick bigger while you're at it. <clears throat> okay, no need, he's already addicted. He literally was looking for you one time. Seriously? Yep. And everyone found out he's been fucked. So not only did you... So not only do you now have to explain to the pack... Like, you now are a member of the pack. Wait, 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 what? You heard me. Me? You're now a, me you're now a member of the pack. Get over it. So I get no saying in this. Nope. Not one. <sighs> Great. Just fucking perfect. I know. Oh, how that must have been a real smart move. Okay, to be a okay to for my defense, I didn't even know he was a werewolf. Oh. <sighs> well, Konsiki does overcoat. Owed himself with cologne, so he does so people don't think he's in heat. But I could tell he was suffering. Right, so I should probably thank you for fucking my son then. But you're coming with me, and if I say no, no, I let the whole pack feast on your bones. Why the fuck would I be worried about that? <coughs> what can? Okay, Izuku, you think you can handle ten thousand people? Ah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on. And Izuku gets dragged. Wow! Oh, can I at least put on some pants? He realized that. Oh, uh, my apologies. This one, she waits for him. And this one, he goes, wait a minute. He was wearing pants! I need to see him. Adios! Oh, that's sneaky! He, ugh. I can't believe I fell for that. This one, one of the werewolf out beta just say, did you just? Yes, I fell for that after him! And he's just running, and he just hears tens of thousands of werewolves. Crap, 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 crap. Ah. And he transforms, and he even starts running. And the werewolves are thinking, this guy's huge. Yes, in case you don't know how big Izuku's werewolf form is, Izuku's werewolf height is around the same size as of a Bonomu. Now, Izuku's built size, at least when he's in his werewolf form, I forgot to mention, is a frickin' size and build of the Nomu. Oh, because, well, it'd be kind of weird. And plus, he is pretty damn tall, so yeah. Huh. Huh, and he is running. And plus, he's a berserker werewolf. Oh, I just realized my coffee might be done. Pause break. And I'm back. Right. Now, pretty much, Izuku... Where are we? Oh, yeah, Izuku running away and me explaining. I forgot to... I didn't explain his fur color, either. Now, Izuku looks... I completely forgot to mention that. And in his werewolf form. Pretty much he looks like a normal werewolf like in Skyrim. Just a little bit bigger. And also he's known to be pretty fucking brutal. Cool. So after the, the incident of clarity is the metaphorical word I would say. Pretty much Izuku who got pretty chilled after that. Which is a lie. Right? So pretty much, Izuku got captured, finally got caught, because Izuku, who, well, he, well, mostly he was getting bit, he was too big, he couldn't fit all through all the trees, so pretty much he got uh, trapped in a freaking hornet's nest, metaphorically. Like, <clears throat> so after the after that, Izuku just looks at them and says, well, shit. All the werewolves are now just huffing, and they all turn back to normal. 
Fuck! How do you run so damn fast? Nice. Nice. I run the 100 meter Olympics. I was at the 1,000 mile Olympics. Still, shoot! Talk about a run! Okay, just come along now. Jeez. Alright, fine. When he came to the Alpha Pack, I willingly, this is when he realized, I see he's going into the city. Ah, crap. So, this is when he goes in. But this is when he sees a couple of servants. What the fuck? You really think I'm going to let you go near my son looking like that? The fuck is wrong with that look like? Like, you look like a hobo. Yeah, you're like, you're any better, missy. You look like a damn prune. Ah! Why? Oh, Settle down. He's a berserker. You wouldn't even survive one swipe. And he just walks away. And you say, I have a temper? Or... It's pride, Izuku. And I can tell you don't have it, do you? Nope. If I had pride, I would have died I'd a long time ago. I, okay, I forget. Berserkers have no honor and no pride. Like, well, yeah. It's pretty much just a stupidity. You really know, know how to make friends, do you? Mm, no, not really. I don't want friends. Well, unfortunately, you have to go through the one thing. And that is, you're now a member of the pack because you fucked my son. Is it really that easy to get into a fucking pack? Like, just fuck an Alpha's kid? And, well, those who live long enough, yes. But I also see potential in you. So, you're also going to UA. Ow! What? I'm joking, obviously. You're too hot-tempered to go to a hero school. Oh, but we are alliance to them. Yeah, that's complete bullshit. Hey, you do realize I'm still gonna do my Tasmanian devil thing, right? Mm, yeah. Still, Izuku, I'm surprised that you had the nerve to kill children. Yeah, I got hungry. But why was I thinking, does this guy know no low oh, or something? Hey, Izuku, you even made the freaking Slaughter Tribe look like a joke. Slaughter Tribe? <sighs> yeah. Huh. They're pretty much a serial killer werewolf clan. They even said, quote, the things he's done was brutal, both, or even for our standards. Okay. Wait a minute. You werewolves have standards? Oh, very funny. So, uh, yeah. What now? Get in the tub. Wow, he sees the tub. Are you stupid? I'm not gonna fit in that. Look, I don't see what's so important about me looking nice and fancy. I'm just going to get dirty anyway. Then we'll scrub you again. This is stupid. Dude. This is when he holds... This is when Izuku holds... This one one means if he holds a silver dagger to his throat. Get in the tub. Up. Izuku looks at her. But this is when they just start scrubbing her. And they, they didn't speak anything. But this is when they hear, Hey, 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 I can scrub that part. Or after literally arguing with them and telling them that he can squash himself... Oh, Izuku gets annoyed, but he doesn't... He holds his temper. After literally being shaved and all that... And Izuku looks like a freaking okay, Asian beauty... Ready for an Asian beauty pad. Actually, for men. You look good. Fuck. You and your clan. And... <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Oh, you better, because... As I will not be as to kill you if you pull this shit again. And I'll keep that in mind. But you do look great. Go fuck a deer. Here. Is it Inko thinking, that's a new one. Did she just... Alphas are just thinking, did she just tell her to go fuck a deer? This kid... This kid, no one would have got away with that easily. He must re... Bakugo must really like this kid. It or something. This is when... He enters Katsuki's room, and he just sees, you know, his room. Wow. Oh. There's way too many video games. Where the fuck is the books? Ow. 
Really? Most people go gaga over this shit. I don't play video games. I think it's stupid. Do you watch TV? Ross the Brain. You remember, Inko oh, didn't have any of that. We, re we had books. You know, big, I know what a book is, jackass. <gasps> How shocking. Oh, Pete, Pete to keep gives her the middle finger. No thanks, I already plowed your boy, I already plowed your son. I don't think I need to be plowing you. Ooh. You have no shame, do you? If I had shame, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, that's true. After that incident. And because it was no secret. In fact, half of the out, the out, this is when me, Ibakugo just, by the way, Bako is in his werewolf form, and he's just leaning on Izuku, and he's just wagging his tail. Oh. Katsuki! He wags faster. Ah! You're now his mate. Eight. Me. So, yeah, he's gonna be happy to see you. Ooh. Wow, he really does smell like me. Told you. Ooh. And like I said before, you will be a member of our pack, but you're also allowed to kill people. Oh, in that case, I'm fine with it. But you still, you will have to go at least pick up Kotsky at the weekend so people can notice you. Why? Because UA is also a school for werewolves, who people who can't control their forms. And I can tell you're not going to go there because, well, you're a berserker. You're pretty much a rebellious type of werewolf. Oh, hmm, I must, hmm, I must have not noticed that. Oh, shut up, Izuku. Nope. Heh. <laughs> By the way, good luck uh, fucking him again. Wait, is it mating season over? Oh my god, you are new, aren't you? Um, yeah? Like I said, I've only been a werewolf for four months. Mating season doesn't end until September. What? Yeah. September. Er, it's off. I mean, doesn't it? It's July. I. Ow. So good luck being. So good luck fucking his brains out. Oh. Eh, fuck it. it. And he just start after four months of nothing more than dicking. And Izuku's going. Jesus. Yes. After getting done, after that incident, when it's now oh, September. Or, uh, are you okay? This is when Izuku walks out, looking like frickin' the frickin' Gollum Lum from Lord of the Rings. And he's mostly because of our of a frickin' those many months of dicking. And these new good look looks like the golem of the other alphas pretty much are the others are pretty much having a fucking nosebleed because the werewolf those who are on guard duty constantly hurt it. Aaron, were you actually listening? We have orders to protect act up, protect anyone I mean, has orders to protect them oh, protect Katsuki. Aaron, but isn't he an alpha though? True, he is an alpha, but he's not one of those alphas that wish to fight. He hates violence. Katsuki, the angry, short-tempered little fuckbird. You're the one to talk. Okay, before I got my powers, right, before I became a werewolf, hates violence. Yup. Kind of fuck. That's kind of hard to believe. Well, think. think. Why else would he care about you? He knows that your temper is greater than his, so he learned patience. And besides, he always hated violence to begin with. Let me guess, abusive father? They look at him like, the fuck is wrong with you? Why? I, no, he didn't have an abusive father. There. It's just that he hated violence. He never liked transforming. As a matter of fact, he rarely lets his form out. And the only time he does is to hunt animals, not humans. So he mostly eats animals. Mostly cow hearts, yes. They mostly fill them up pretty damn quick. Like, cow hearts. Now I've heard everything about something stupid than that. Next thing you're gonna tell me that... Like, tooth... Next thing you're gonna tell me that the tooth fairy exists. What's a tooth fairy? Oh, for fuck's sake. Aren't you a little over that? No. Well, that's mostly about it. Well, looks like I'm dealing with this. 
So where's Koski? He's asleep. He, he. Did you really just? And he's just wanted to see Ikatsuki just plain the fuck pass out. Where are you going? I'm going to get some water. Where the fuck's a fridge? Uh, that way. Thank you. After literally getting some water. Water. Yeah. Fuck. Man, that was interesting. After literally drinking his water and literally well done, Nizuno Nizuku decides to it's midnight, so he's thinking, oh, might as well start killing people. So he heads out, transforms, and literally just starts heading out. But Mitsuki walks in saying, Where is he? Where did Izuku go? Um, he head out. You let him leave? You uh is that a problem now? I mean he has been fucking Okay, his boyfriend. And spray sounds for the past three months. I mean, it's okay, I guess, but still. <sighs> Great. And we have the Alpha the clans coming over. And they want to meet Katsuki's mate. <sighs> After the Alphas gets here, so where's Katsuki's mate? He left. What? Calm down. Look. Look. Let me explain. He's new. Wait, wait, wait. So a novice is Katsuki's mate. Not a normal mate. He's a berserker. Her. This is when one of the, the Alpha of the Gold of the Tooth Gold Tooth Tribe says. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Berserkers are need blood just to stain their hunger. This one is just thinking, ah, I can't forget the gold tooth no more. Or, or, this is when the gold. This is when pretty much, as the shadow no tribe says. Still, it, he needs to at least honor some traditions. Have you not told him anything? And, oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Mister. I am perfect in every way. Hey, but how can you teach a kid? It's something like that. Especially if you just found out he's a werewolf, and you just found out literally, literally yesterday, that he fucked your son. Come on. Oh. I mean, okay, fair point. With Izuku, who's now just tearing the street, who's now just doing his usual thing and killing people, well, and eating the fleshes of the poor bastards. And pretty much just devouring them. This is when he just finds some random hero. And the hero is just minding his own business. And he just downs on him and starts ripping him apart, limb by limb, and pretty much eating his corpse. Corpse. And after they're killing, I'm going to say, 1,300 people, well, this week, this is when they is all over the news. Damn, this Tasmanian devil really knows how to make a mark. Mark. He's brutal, even for the Slaughter Tribe. Oh, you're going to be happy. Oh, you're going to be extremely happy then. Why? When Izuku gets back, he is covered in blood, uh, has a mouth mouthful, and is little... By the way, he's still in his werewolf form, and he is eating a child while the kid is still uh, holding his life. This is when the werewolves are like, fucking hell! And it's when he just devours the corpse. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? This is when Izuku transforms runs back to normal and pops his neck. That was good. <sighs> Servants! And this one, they just give them a look like, seriously? What? Uh, this one, he says, barb. Uh, what a barbarian. And this one, they're about to tempt it, but this one, he just grabs the brush. <clears throat> I'll wash myself. I do not feel like looking like, like freaking, freaking Nemo. Oh, I like to keep my fur color. <laughs> Very well, wash yourself then. But you're bathing with Katsuki. What the fuck? After them getting to Katsuki, and Katsuki is now just letting him wash his back. Hey, be careful. Oh. Oh. This is the first time I'm bait. I mean, this one actually, this is when Katsuki says, you're extremely gentle. Oh. Well, I found out that your sweet spot's your neck. Like, and it really turns you on, so I'm not going to do that. I just got done. I'm cream pieing you already. The alphas hear that and they say, wait, 
That's his mate? A berserker? Yep. And he and Kotsky was dominated by him, so I'm not I was a little bit angered because I it pretty much was ruining my reputation until I found out who he is. Who he is? He's the Tasmanian devil. Their eyes open wide and they look at Izuku. Izuku just says, The fuck are you all looking at? They all look back. So wait, you have a very you have not only just a novice werewolf, but this werewolf has been killing people for the past three months? I mean, for the past months? Yep. How has he not been known? Apparently he lived in the woods where no one could see or find him. Wow, he really knows how to keep himself low, doesn't he? Yep. It took me hours to look for him. <sighs> this is when he says, Anyway, I already know that look. Look, what is your question? Can we trust him? I got a feeling he won't do anything. What makes you so certain? I just know. Call me weird. You can call me weird, but I got a feeling that he won't attack us. Not without a reason, anyway. So what I'm hearing is, you trust him. Okay, I wouldn't go that far, but yeah. I trust him. All right. I'm just going to say it. This is a bad idea. So was dealing, so was you, I and mean, yet here you are. Ouch. What? what? No need to go that low. Uh, sometimes you gotta go low. But anyway, is there anything else, there are other reasons why you're here? Uh, no, that was about it. But anyway... Hey, see you around. And, uh, you do realize he's gonna have to. He can't attend, he's a berserker. It would not end well, anyway. I suppose you're right. Oh, great. After Katsuki gets done with all that... I mean, after Izuku gets done fucking in Katsuki... I mean, I... I yeah. Fuck. After that, Izuku... This is when Katsuki starts washing him. Can you not be covered in blood? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting to take another bath. How do you clean yourself anyway? Soap, water, that's it. It. Huh. Alright. But you do realize one of these days, A's, you can't do that forever. Eh, I can try. Sorry about the pause. Alright, yeah, yeah. You're not gonna let this go, are you? No. Because I'm now your husband, and I gotta make sure you stay in control. I mean, I gotta make sure you stay out of trouble. What are you talking about? Stay in control. Well, I'm fine. Really? Really? I'm fine. You know, I would believe that. It wasn't for the fact that you're literally a bloodthirsty maniac, babe. Wait, babe? Yeah, you heard me. Like I said, I'm now your boyfriend. So you gotta deal with it. 
I hope you're not too mad that I'm your boyfriend now. Um, no, it was just surprising, that's all. You were actually surprised that I'm your boyfriend? And I'm more surprised that you're okay with it, is what I'm saying. Like, no normal man would say yes immediately because I fucked him in the ass. Well, I got to. Why? Because... <sighs> Fuck it. I just felt like it, okay? Don't judge me. Alright. Hey, I won't. But you still owe me. <laughs> I'm paying you with my body, so I'd say that... I paid you enough. God, he's just thinking, well, damn. So after during the incident and Izuku literally just sipping his cup of coffee, <sighs> what time is it anyway? It's like three in the morning. Oh, cool. This is when he realizes him. This is when he bluntly says, Wait, do you ever sleep? What? You, do you ever sleep? Um, no. Not at all. Nope. Not once. So you never fell asleep? Nope. How? Never mind. Well, tonight you're, well, tonight you're sleeping. I mean, tomorrow night, you're going to bed. Now, hold up. That's got to fuck up my killing schedule. I kill at night. Besides, I get well rested in the morning by werewolf form. This is when Baco is thinking, that's rare. Most of these werewolves get super tired. Wait, what was your mother's name again? How can you forget? It's Inko Midoriya. This is when Baki leaves. Right. And this is when Izuku is just seeing a very, very comfortable bed. I guess I could shut my eyes for a good month for a minute. I mean, how bad could it be? With Ikatsuki, who is now searching the web, searching the werewolf web. Uh, print. I mean, this one he is a uh, boss, huh? Oh, care. Oh, um, did you need something? Uh, Mitsuki wanted to know where you went. I went to. The, I went here. What are you searching for? I'm searching for a werewolf named Inko Midoriya, because for some reason that name sounds familiar. Inko? Hmm. Why don't you ask Mitsuki? Mitsuki's dealing with the other alpha, so I don't really have to answer. So I'm not really gonna answer that. I see. Mitsuki Midoriya. Inko Midoriya. Hmm. That name sounds familiar. Do you know anyone? No, but if you want to know history, the gold tooth mostly holds it. I'm not gonna ask him, because he's gonna want something in return. I know that prick. Mm, yeah, when you put her like that, maybe it is wise just to look at it alone, woefully. I'm not alone. It's just I don't feel like asking him. Besides, he's an absolute prick that will want something in return. Like usual, male alphas. Plus, didn't you demand to look? Didn't you? Who? Oh, shut up. Yes, sir. So yeah, after Katsuki talking to them, because well, let's be honest, he was being a little prick. This is when Izuku went. This is when Izuku leaves. He's, and now starts minding his own business because, like I said, he does not give a shit. I mean, this is when he's we actually get to Mitsuki, and Mitsuki is just talking with the clan. I mean, why not? He's a berserker, number one, and number two, berserkers wouldn't really, really care. Besides, the only reason I'm keeping him because meet Katsuki, he cares about him like disturbingly a lot. But maybe he has a crush on him. Maybe. But 
But one of these days, it's going to be a problem. Inko, you were, I mean, Mitsuki, he, you, he, you worry too much. Just let the kid work. Just let Kotsky have his mate. I mean, besides, you do realize we, everyone's going to try to pull the right of mating with him. Just to get him plowed. You know that. I hate it when you're right. I do too. But anyway. Wait. Back to business. After talking, and Izuku now... Oh, done sh showering. This is when he puts on some clothes. Mostly his random clothing. Ugh, finally. This is when he starts to walk off, but until he hears... He hears oh, Izuku, you're here. Huh? Oh, hey, Mitsuki. Still being an annoying little bitch. This is when the guy says... This is when one of the math says, Mind your tongue. Mind your, your voice. He says, You little shit. And he realized, why the fuck are you wearing braces? <laughs> this one, Mitsuko goes, <laughs> They're not braces. Whatever you say, hey, those are braces. I don't care what you say, those are braces. This is when he's just thinking, the nerve of this guy. You're just lucky that Katsuki's your mate. Okay. So, what the fuck is this all about? Out. Well, they don't know who you are, and they want to know. That's none of their damn business. Izuki might as well tell them, because they will try everything in their power to find out who you are and use it against you. Pfft. Don't think they need men for that? Uh, Izuku shows his eyes. This is when one of them says, I know those eyes. You do? That's the butcher's kid. And he says in a very disturbed voice, Butcher? She's a myth. Who? Kiddo, what was your mother's name? Him? Uh, he's not going to answer. I'll answer. Her name was Incomodoria. The alf one of the older alphas, the slaughters, opened their wide in shock. Do you... Wait, you know them or something? I don't know her, but I've heard of her. A brutal, a very brutal and very demonic Nick Werby. A very brutal demonic wear berserker. Her temper was great, though. She didn't really have that many mates. Her, she died. She got injured pretty badly to the point where she had to retire. Her, but everyone accused her of being a myth because, well, she killed more than just humans. She went. She went there also werewolves. Huh, that explains Izuku's black thirst for blood. And Izuku's giving a look like, okay, bye. And he just walks off. Where is he going? He, Izuku's not good. Izuku's just good. He's just here because he got out of rump. That's it. If it was for anything else, he would have just left us a long time ago. Why didn't he leave, period? Well, mostly because, uh, well, he can't. I'm bound. He's bound to me. Well, metaphorically, he's bound, but you get what I mean. Yeah. <sighs> With Bakugo, who's pretty much got done looking him up. So that's who you are. Hmm. I thought the name of Dory looked, sounded familiar. Well, at least I got, a, well, at least I got another reason to marry him. He's thinking in his head. After literally Izuku getting fashion chain eyes and all that. And he decides to go. This is when Izuku's about to go transform until he hears, Oh, no, you don't. Not tonight. Why? Right. Well, number one, Kamaru Katsuki's school was tonight. You do realize I don't sleep, right? Hey. Oh, really? Then why didn't you... Oh, I didn't take a nap. I just took a light one. Oh. Besides, I only get like five, 45 minutes of sleep. Wow! This is when he's thinking. This is when the alphas are thinking, geez, no wonder he's a prick. 
You need to sleep more. Yeah, yeah, I get that a lot. But it's no big deal. Izuku, it's a very big deal. Oh, sleep. Eep actually help heals your body. From what? What, cancer? No, for fuck's sake. Izuku, ooh, just calm. Just... Like I said, you can't be covered because it's pretty much Izuku's school starts to about in five minutes. It's, isn't it like three o'clock in the morning though? Werewolf schools start a little late or a little early because the werewolf form form works that way. All right, but I ain't picking up no fucking chick. All right, but I ain't ain't going in there. Izuku, you don't have to. You just gotta be there to show that peep that Kasuki has a mate. Eight. I hope they all make. I hope the others. I hope no one expects me to act. See, I doubt it. Besides, he's. You might as well get going. <laughs> like you're giving me a choice. He's. No, I'm not. After literally, when they get to their school, this is when they get to UA. This is UA. Yep, this is it. It's, huh? How fun. This is when he pretty much Kotsky says. As. Uh, Izuku. Let me guess, you're gonna criticize me too about not having fashion taste. I was gonna say. Hey, that, but. How come you don't wear or that many clothes? What do you mean? I mean, you're just wearing a tank top and some shorts. Easier to take off. I don't like wearing jeans. Oh. After when they get there, this one here. Ah, Katsuki. You're... Ow. Oh, I see we finally saw have a mate. Yep, I have a mate. Hey. Huh. Well, that's good to know. So who's the one who... So who's the guy you fucked? Excuse me? Hey. This one he takes a better whiff. Oh. <laughs> uh, my apologies. These, I didn't think you would be the one being dominated, Katsuki. Yeah, I was. So where's your uh, me? Right there. And he just sees this one. They see Zuku. Ow! This one the teacher says, "I'll be blunt. I thought he'd be something, you know." Let me guess. You probably thought it'd be some cheap off noble, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Uh, that I'm not gonna lie. I did thought that. Well, he's not. That is Izuku Midoriya. Inko's kid? Yep. Wow, I thought she was a myth. Everyone thought she was a myth, dude. Ooh, even my mom. Well, anyway, this one the guy walks up to him. Hello there, Izuku. My name is... is my name is Mr... Sir... My name is Mr. Mike. What's yours? Um, you just said my name, you stupid cockatoo. Ow. Okay, rude. Ooh, He's not wrong, President Mike. You... Your hair does look like a cockatoo. It's part of my hair. It's part of my... My thing. I can't really change it. I wonder what your werewolf forms thinks of that freaking hair. <gasps> it doesn't really mind. I believe me, Aizawa knows. Oh, I'm taking a guess Aizawa's your... I'm taking a guess Aizawa, you're Aizawa's pet. Huh? <laughs> Izuku! What? No, other way around. Aizawa's my pet. Ah! Forced. 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 He was like, like Katsuki, stubborn. But he couldn't find anyone. But he didn't want anyone to tame. He didn't want anyone to tame him. I can see why. So we kind of had to force mate. But is he okay with it? Not even close. He hated it. And I know. And I knew he hated it. But he couldn't, couldn't say no. Because he knew. Whatever. This is when Cox Tizuka takes a sip. <sighs> but this is when they hear, Oh, hello there, or Shoto. Huh? Oh, Karashima. How are you doing? <laughs> Pretty good, bro. Who's that? That's my mate. Eight. Wait, that's your mate? Yeah, that's my mate. Eight. Wow. Oh, he's actually not... He's actually a pretty good-looking catcher. What? Uh, ow, 
this one, Izuku just looks at him. Ow. Who's a fucking baby shark brick off? That. <laughs> this is Kirishima, my uh, friend. And, okay. Hey, fuck off then. Ow. Okay, rude. You're gonna have to get used to that. He's always this way. Hey. After Izuku meeting the rest of the class, even though he gave two, he doesn't give two shits who they are. And Izuku makes it very fucking clear by giving the look of, I don't care. And it's about one minute to saying, shut the fuck up. 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 Until. Oh. Well, Izuku, this is when pretty much. Well, the teacher says, all right, class, that's enough. He obviously does not give a shit. It, ow, this one, he's thinking, at least someone found out pretty fucking quickly. What do you mean? I mean, he's a werewolf. All werewolves have to know each other. Or they realize he does not give a shit. Oh. That, not, this one also caught, he says, plus I'm not part of any fucking clan. I'm forced to be here because I fucked a Bakugo. Wait, so you're a lone wolf? Is that a problem, Pink? Is that a problem, Pink Sheep? Pink Sheep? If she glows her eyes. <sighs> Good. I haven't killed, killed someone in a while. He'll, this one immediately, like Mike shows his eyes. Stand down, Mina. But stand down. <sighs> and... This one, Katsuki, it gives him the puppy dog eyes. He's... And he, he's equal calms down. This one, Kat, Matt, President Mike says out loudly, Phew, that would have been badly. I would have to explain to Mina's parents. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? And, and Mina, what? Don't piss off a berserker. What? You nearly just, you nearly got your ass killed by a berserker werewolf. Keep that temper. His power is greater than yours. Fine. After dealing with school, this one says, Okay, can I go now? No. No, you still gotta wait until we get done. We have, I actually have to wait for you to get done, drop you off, off and all that. It's just an, we leave pretty early anyway, more than the others. Most because of the rivalry between a certain clan and my mom's. Who? Oh. Do you know the werewolf clan? Oh, what the fuck do I mean? Have you heard of the Todoroki family? Endeavor's bitch? Yeah, I heard of them. <laughs> That's a first. But this is when Katsuki just sits down. This is when he says, well, I'm going to get going, I guess. See you later. And this is when, after them getting done with that. That? Huh. After or that, after school, this is when Katsuki and, and Izuku walk off. After literally each, he, he, him, him explaining what the freaking order is between him and Toroki's family. So let me get this straight. You two were supposed to be in an arranged marriage, but until I popped up. I was supposed to marry make him last week my next my last week, but you popped up and everyone found out and like and it spread like fucking wildfire. You being fucked? Yeah. Like I said, I haven't made I haven't had mate I haven't made it in seven years. Years. Wait, so you're fifteen. And you haven't made it in seven he looks at him. Yep. That's kind of fucked up, forcing two kids to fuck. It's part of culture. It's fucking nasty. <laughs> you have no room to talk or what you did to people. Yeah, but still. Even I'm not that low blow. I have standards. <laughs> yeah, and apparently I have bad taste. Yeah, yeah, let me just drop off to your house and we can go. <laughs> so I can go and start killing people. Whatever you say, babe. Hmm. <laughs> After dropping him off. Alright, see ya. See ya. Uh, and Izuku starts running off. Finally. And he said, I got a feeling that the Todorokis are going to be a problem. Might as well do that. 
After Izuku walking off and acting like he's so innocent and all that, this is when he gets popped up by a couple of gang werewolves. And he sees their logo. I'm saying I guess you're part of Todoroki's man. Yup. Yup. And you must be Izuku. You don't look all tough. Oh, sticks and stones, brat. I'm saying I guess your Todoroki leader is here as well. This one Shalto pops up. Yup. If you're here to try to negotiate or any of that bullshit, let's just cut to the chase and fight. I'm itching to kill right now. You do realize you kill me, you get in war with your clan. I'm not part of his clan. I'm not part of their clan. I'm just Katsuki's mate. And going to war against how many werewolves you have? 200. He, he just smiles. Good. All the children I can feast on and all the p the people will suffer. This is when the werewolves are thinking, this guy's a mad, this guy's a psycho. This is when Shoto says, kill this monster. And this is when the werewolves attack and Izuku transforms and immediately start, starts ripping them to shreds. The werewolves was almost get an upper hand, but this is when Izuku just bites them and scratches and pins a lot of them, stripping them limb from limb. Him like a mad dog over a juicy bone. After killing them, and he, this is when Shoto transforms and roars. But Izuku's roar is a little bit more intimidating, and it actually shocked Shoto a little bit because Alpha roars are supposed to be more intimidating. But after literally fighting off, finally biting and fighting him off, off. This is when Katsuki he pins. This is when and Izuku pins Shoto down, and this is. When he, the Shelto just gives a look of defeat. But this one, Izuku just smiles. Realizing that Shoto is not going to get an honorable death. His death is going to be brutal. <sighs> everyone can hear Kat Shoto. Everyone heard Shoto's whimpering and scared. But Endeavor, he saw the full thing. And just hears him ripping his Shoto's arms limb from limb. Him, pretty much killing every part of his being he, brutally he, and pretty much after finally killing poor Shoto all he did was just is break his jaw where he wouldn't whimper anymore and this one he, he sees Endeavor and he just rip, holds Shoto's neck and all you hear is a crunch this one show this one Endeavor goes and just gulps out of pure fear here and this one he just jumps up on attacking Shoto Attacking Endeavor, but Endeavor's men hold him off. Off, but unfortunately, Endeavor's men did not stand a chance with the blood and everywhere. Sh Endeavor tries to lead him away from the pack, but sh he knows where he's doing, so he goes after the pack instead and slaughters them, killing everyone, women, children, people, you name it. And this is when immediately he finds two infants and starts feasting on their corpses. Yes. After that, he kills more and more Alf. He kills more and more people after that. And mostly heroes. And he killed even dogs. Yep, Izuku kills animals too. So after eating and killing them, big guys, let's admit it, he was hungry, Izuku went back to his, went back to Bakugo's home. home. And Bakugo is pretty much in his... He's pretty much uh, given the, the surprised look because he, Izuku's massacre is all over the news. And the only thing you hear from Izuku is a, a little bit of a belch, but with his mouth closed. They may look at him and you see him drenched in blood. But, like, I'm talking about drench. Like, it was like a fucking storm. Like a freaking rainstorm drenched. And he is completely strange. Like, he just went through a Kool-Aid pool. All but blood. What? That's what this, this, yeah, this one Miki says. That's, uh, that's one way to send a message. This to not fuck with you. Who, oh, huh, Izuku? Hmm, I was being nice.
Oh, looking for normal shit. This is when Katsuki just says... I mean, this is when Katsuki says, I don't know if I should... I don't know what to say. You can give me a good blow and we call it a day. I mean, this is when Katsuki's thinking, oh, the nerve. But I can't say no. And this is when Katsuki says, okay, you kind of deserve it. My room. Now. Izuku smiles. And he just transforms, picks Katsuki up, and just walks to the room. Katsuki even... This is when Katsuki doesn't transform because he could tell he wants to see human squeals. Those, and just bite, and Katsuki just bites his lip. This is when Katsuki just... This is when Izuku just starts plowing him roughly and hard. Hard. To the point where Katsuki even gets some nicks. In case you don't know what a nick is for some people, well, because your parents were stupid enough to actually leave this on, a nick is a bite mark that uh, that tops leave on their bottoms so they know who's dominated. It's an, it's pretty much a top thing. We don't know why we do it either. Trust me. Hey, I know. Oh, females do it too. Ooh, but it's extremely rare for a top bottom to do that to their top. I kid you not. It's actually pretty fucking rare. But after that, after the nice scored thing, this is when Izuku, who made himself well fucking known, like, it's not even a joke. He didn't really show mercy to them either. So it was pretty fucking brutal. But so after the incident, <laughs> yummy, yummy, me, Izuku pretty much... Uh, she just sees Katsuki, and he... And this is when Mitsuki just sees Katsuki, and he is beyond happy. I mean, he is beyond mad, but he is fucking pleased. Like, wow. This is when Mitsuki's thinking, you know, maybe Mitsuki's not so bad. Just needs to learn his mouth. Just needs to learn his mouth. That's it. Yeah. But luckily, this is when Katsuki... And this is when the alphas, by the way, the, all the alphas were still there, and they just hear the moaning, and they were like, holy fuck! Hey, uh, you good? Huh? This is when pretty much the alpha says, yeah, I think... Make a peace. I think we'll keep the peace treaty idea. That would be wise. Nice. But seriously, you never let him go to any of the schools? No. But after that, they're definitely his scent is gonna be harder on him. Meaning, in Izuku, they're gonna know who his, his scent is. Huh. After that. This is when Izuka just sits down. Hmm. Alright. This is... After that, and after banging him pretty much, this is when pretty much the U.S. Like, this one decide... I... President Mike says, Okay, class, we're going to the USJ. Hey, by the way, Dinky doesn't pull a stupid. But, and the only classes are in there is pretty much just me... The only people that President Mike deals with is Mina, Bakugo, and Karashima. The rest are human. And they deal with the human side of the class. Pretty much, that's that. But this is when Bakugo says, well, at least we got something. Anyway, after that, and Izuku literally at least sits down. And after that, this is when Izuku does get... This is when pretty much Katsuki gets there. Yeah. Mind you, Katsuki is also very well known among other people. So say, so pretty much everyone knows about him, even for the villains. And mostly villains are just, just uh, bad werewolves. Is the nice way of putting it? Yeah, nice way of putting it.
So you can imagine that. Now, pretty much after Kotsuki... Tsuki literally had his fun time with his girlfriend, with his girlfriend, Yumi, and with his boyfriend. And Katsuki is pretty much the best way of saying it is not nim is not rate is not biteable. Well, what I'm saying is he has been shagged too hard. So meaning Katsuki that means means President Mike knows it. Like it does he didn't even try to hide it. Like it was like, oh fuck. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. But luckily for President Mike, Katsuki was not like on fuck. He wasn't weak enough to the point he can't fight, but he can't fight long because, well, these people shacked him. Them too damn hard. They were also there with the human USJ, by the way. Hey, and mind you, people think that werewolves are not a thing. They think that the Tasmanian Devil just has a beast quirk. Nothing big, nothing small. Also, yeah, they just think it's pretty much stupid. They just think that werewolves exist. Oh, if only they knew. Oh. <laughs> so after that, and Katsuki literally just minding his own biz. This. <laughs> this is when pretty much they get to the USJ, where they pretty much mind their own business and get ready for, for pretty much being what they are. But luckily, Izuku Midori. But this is when Izuku had a feeling that he had to come, which he did because because Katsuki would not leave because Katsuki dragged him even though he was, was completely miserable because as he couldn't barely walk. But Izuku just been nice and picked him up and pretty much took him to the bus. So, now here's the one thing that caught Izuku's biggest weakness, and even though he's OP as fuck, he gets car sick. <sighs> Baby, okay. <sighs> This is when President Mike says, <laughs> "I think he's car. I think he's car sick." Ha! Ball barking no bite now. Well, this is when Izuku grabs Mina and just pukes on her. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, <bleh. laughs> this is when President Mike's like, "Oh dear God." Uh, that is showing. I don't know how it's disrespect. You gotta be really disrespectful for that. Like, holy lee fung. Talk about nasty. You could have. This is when President Mike said, Well, you could have not done it on the bus. That would have been nice. Sorry, but I don't care. Here, talk shit. Get pure. There's a barf bag. Use the barf bag. Like, there's a fucking barf bag. Use the barf bag. Like, sheesh. After Izuku gave him a barf bag, and Izuku got done. Un Are you, this is when they get there. Are you okay? Lech. This is when Katsuki says, well, thanks. But this is when Kats, this is when pretty much they get there and they see the USJ. I want to hear the human heroes. Mind you, who class Nezu knows about the werewolf thing, so he knows he separates them to two different class, it'd be wise. So that's what he did. So in his mind, he pulled a smart. Alright. So after literally dealing and f dealing with that incident, and President Mike had to clean up the friggin' mess, because Izuku didn't really aim for the bucket. He pulled a dick. Dick. Like, and kept puking. So after that, and President Mike got done cleaning it. <sighs> Alright. 
after... Alright, this is when they get into the USJ. Hey, and this is when pretty much Izuku immediately smells something fishy. Hey, does anyone else smell something? Ah, uh, no. Oh. Wait. I know that smell. This is when they immediately activate eyes. It's Carnage! This is when pretty much the Carnage clan pops up. Who are the Carnage? It's pack can they're werewolf cannibals who are too feral to pretty much be part of anything. They're led by a werewolf known as All for One. All for One, huh? This is when Izuku says, fresh meat for the grinders, I guess. It's Izuku, you he gives him a look. Don't worry. They will know where I am and when I go. Alright. Okay. This is when Izuku hides and transforms. Mind you, this is at, or during a daytime. I'm not gonna pull that the werewolves can only transform at nighttime. That's just fucking stupid. Wait. Hold up. Pause break. Okay, I'm back. Okay. <sighs> I needed that little break. But this one caught. This one went pretty much after Izuku they transformed, and they get into a fighting decision. Mind you, dude. Like I said, quirks, not riddle things. So pretty much this one, Mina's thinking. He says, "Where did Izuku go? He went to transform." He can't let people know he's a Tyson. You know, he's making sure that no one knows that he's, well, you know who. <sighs> Not really a big fan of showing who he is, is he? He wants to keep his serial killer act. So pretty much when the werewolves attempt to pretty much overrun them, this is when pretty much Izuku popped up and bites one of their heads off. Off, And then just went and just seized them. Now the werewolves are too feral to actually show fear. Which Izuku has a humongous bright smile on his face, symbolizing that that something can actually get his attention. And and it does not actually, because Izuku kills it starts slaughtering them like suckling pigs. The werewolves still attack, and Izuku just rips them to shreds one by one. On as they charge. The more they charge, Izuku the more Izuku killed them. The more he killed them, the more fun he had. Uh, doing it. So pretty much after killing them, so pretty much after killing brutally and evilly, killing the werewolves, wolves, and just holding one of the them, who is obviously a cub, into his arm, it scratches his left eye, but Izuku just crushes its skull. The heroes, this is when pretty much the human students are about to attack the hero, about to attack Izuku, but Izuku's bloodlust was so intense that Aizawa told them to not. On an attempt to literally brutally, Lee, well, get killed. But unfortunately, All Might did not think that. He just saw a monster, an evil killer, needed to be destroyed. So pretty much, he attacks Izuku, but Izuku takes him out. But Izuku, who in too feral to see who he is, pretty much attacks him, and instantly the All Might and all the heroes attack him. Izuku killed about 145 heroes that day. Hey, and immediately he does make every bloody kill count. He makes Miracle's death quick because he doesn't really like eating bunnies, and plus he respected her. Always was happening. He was not that feral, but he did not respect the others. Actually, no, he spares Miracle mostly because as he respects her. And pretty much starts killing the other heroes without even hesitating. And President Mike just sees the sheer horror about on this guy and kills everyone else. Endeavor gets there because he's the last one one there. And this is when he just sees the pure the pure terror that Izuku has led to the poor heroes. Well, All Might is just now standing there in his weak form, pretty much much being brutally mauled and bitten a lot, eaten alive. The sheer bloodshed and comatose of of the fear of the bloodshed has pretty much made made All Might completely paralyzed. So now All Might it has to enforce to suffer from the bottomless hunger of Izuku. Which was not fun for them, mind you. Who as a matter of fact it was actually quite brutal. After Izuku got done killing them. I mean, he just licks his chops and gets ready for more. 
So after killing them and literally, well, other things, because he didn't really show mercy, like I said... So after killing them and, well, the rest, you already know the rest, actually. I don't know why I'm even answering that question. He pretty much takes care. You pretty, he pretty much killed the rest, and it was pretty brutal. Well, which Izuku thought was actually quite funny. Me to kill people who didn't even stand a fucking chance. Even I gotta admit, that was kind of funny. But after that, Izuku decided to take a little break from murdering. Well, no, that's a fucking lie. I Izuku still killed people. Katsuki was just a little bit surprised, but not too surprised. Mina was traumatized, and Karoshima doesn't know what to say. Hey, mind you, none of them actually transformed. Or not even Izuku, Katsuki, and he knew... Ooh, that he had to face that. So, yeah, you can imagine that. So, pretty much after Izuku, who had that incident, and Endeavor, well, he actually did the smartest thing that any man could do. He ran. Yep, Endeavor pulled, pulled, the, pulled the flight or fight moment, and he chose flight. Because, let's be honest, if you're facing a werewolf that's the size of a Nomu and pretty much managed to kill God knows how many people... I think the smartest thing that anyone would do is run. Let's be honest, people. No one wants to get brutally murdered by someone who doesn't have no empathy or, or pretty much just give up two fucks. So yeah, after that, and the brutal death of those innocent souls that Izuku so wrongfully claimed, which is, I say, it's just still funny because... Was acting like you give a shit is just complete bullet. Licks. But yeah, after that, this is when Bakatsuki just set, just pretty much goes to him, and with the most worried look because he is covered in scar bite marks, claw marks, marks, bullets, you name it, he's covered in it. And, and he is now blind. He has has one eye that's completely closed. Now, pretty much the students, some of them actually passed out, and others just ran off, because Aizawa was too busy making sure they didn't get killed by, well, the Tasmanian Devil. Well, and President Mike insisted to stay, and because he knew Izuku wasn't going to kill him. So Izuku is now completely wrecked. He is certain that his eye is going to fall off. But this one, Izuku transforms back, with a smile on his face and saying, That was... Fun. And he passes out. And Izuku Bakugo in a worried state he immediately turns into a werewolf and starts taking him to his bait. Ace. This is when Kats, this is when Mina says, I never seen Katsuki run like that. We better explain this to Mitsuki. <sighs> when Mitsuki this is when he immediately get there and they immediately attend to Izuku's wounds. And they only say it's a fucking miracle. But Katsuki, who was just sitting there, might concerned and having a worried look, and has been there for like the past three months. Once, yes, Izuku was in a temporary coma for three months, once, which worried Katsuki even more because he was worried that he might be he might die. So after well, that incident, Izuku. Ooh, man. This is when Izuku wakes up. And all you hear from Izuku... And this is when immediately he sees Katsuki sleeping on his, his lap. Mind you, he's still in his wolf form and he's been worried to high heavens. And he even skipped school so many times to the point where Nezu threatened to expel him, but he did not give a shit. Until Nezu was given the information. Yes, Izuku... It took three weeks for Nezu to finally find out that Katsuki had a mate and he was a member of the attack. And it didn't end fucking well. They didn't mention the part that he's a Tasmanian devil because, well, that's none of his business. So, Izuku, who wakes up and just uh, says, Ow. Oh. 
man, how long was I, man, how long was I asleep? I must have slept like the dead, because I don't remember being having this many neck much hurty. Immediately, Kotsky wakes up, wags his tail, and pretty much starts licking him. Ah, da, 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 da. It, Bakugo! Oh, and he just whimpers, whines, and starts wagging his tail to the point where, where it's not even funny. This one caught Izuku just says, Okay, okay, I'm alive. Yes, I'm alive. Calm down. Oh, sheesh. This one, he just sees the tears in Kotsky's eyes, realizing that I he worried him. Uh, yeah, I know. That was stupid of me. This is when immediately the cop Michi walks in and sees Izuku up and at him. Oh, hey, Mitsuki. That was reckless of you. For one, scaring my sons half to death. And two, who, what were you thinking taking on a whole clan? I didn't. I just blamed for Earl. <sighs> you and your psychopathic ways. Thank you. Well, anyway, you gained the full respect of the pack. What do you mean? You managed to defeat not only heroes, but also managed to defeat, kill, the last known Carnage pack. Ah, to the point where All for One came out of hiding and was forced, or sent to exile, for his crimes. So we don't have to worry about him. So, uh, what are we doing? Well, we're getting you ready for the wedding. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, 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 I did not... Uh, he, Mitsuki raised an eyebrow, realizing what happened. Oh. But why are we attending the wedding right now? I'm literally like 14. I'm only like, what, 15? True, but werewolves can get married at the age of 15. And all the pack admitted, agreed that you two being married would strengthen the pack. You just want to do it because just to spite me. <laughs> that too. I like to watch you suffer. You Fucking fat bitch! Itch. Hey, I'm not fat! That's not what that pig- That's not what that pig belly says! Oh, if you weren't his- Or Izu- If you weren't Katsuki's boyfriend, I swear I will kill you. I would kill you. Ooh. Oh. I just survived the whole pack. What the fuck can you do? Oh. I can do worse things. Things to you, Izuku. You have no idea. I think I'll just keep the I don't give a fuck look. <laughs> after that, after when Izuku finally woke up, because like I said, it was actually pretty brutal. Well, Izuku managed to actually they move out of the way. Whoa, bitch! Bitch, get out the way, bitch! Get out the way! Whoa! But yeah, after that, Izuku and Katsuki got married. And, um, Izuku decided to do one last thing before, or, actually, no, Izuku still does his murdering psychopathic ways. He still kills people for sport. Or, But he decided to take care of one last thing. thing. We, we have Endeavor, who is now just sitting there pretty much in his old home. And he's just, well, being him. He's minding his own business. Yes. Until he hears someone move, entering. I knew you would come, Izuku. Hmm. You knew I was gonna... I can't leave any witnesses of who I am. The whole pack, the whole clans know who you are. True. But they don't know about Shoto's slaughter, now do they? He stays silent. So, we could do this the boring way or the fun way. The boring way, you let me kill you. The fun way, you come up with a fight. This is where Endeavor stands up. We do it the boring way. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of, of it. Man, you really are boring. Like I said, I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. All right, this one Izuku transforms, arms, and giving the look of saying, "I'm gonna enjoy torturing you while you bleed to death." This one Endeavor just closes his eyes and pretty much just gets ready for his brutal death, and he does. The brutal, the death was super brutal. Like, it wasn't even funny. It's brutal. 
like to the point where you can hear the screaming. But after killing Endeavor, brutally and harshly, like I said, it wasn't a quick death, Izuku went back to his husband, and, he's, and, De and Bakugo, being ever so happy to see him, which even Izuku is expected, didn't really expect this, but he doesn't really mind. They decided to actually move into Inko's old home, only because, well, number one, they didn't feel like dealing with them. So after dealing with that, and literally dealing with three or four months of that, Bakugo pretty much was just happy to be with his husband. Now that was... Now we do a humongous time skip, because we're about to get to the end. And I always mention the last part, what they do. I'm going to say... 40 years has passed. Yes, 40. That's the biggest time skip I ever did. And Izuku and Katsuki are still happily married. Like, they could not be chappy. So, after literally like days and weeks of... I mean, after literally all that, Katsuki is still happy. And this one, pretty much, Izuku still does his murdering thing, mind you. But this one, he realizes he's getting old. So, he's thinking of getting an apprentice. Which he is. He actually, they actually both adopt a berserker alpha son. And let's just say Katsuki was okay with Izuku changing the kid because he didn't really find it a bad sign. He just thought to himself of worried some. But at that, that was about it. This has been the one shot of What If Deku Was a Werewolf. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. This has been Dunkle Dylan here, God of Chaos, and I'll see you in the next vid.